Good morning. Happy New Year's Eve. It's 39 degrees, although it doesn't feel that cold. Um, I am doing, well, I am attempting Weaver's Needle. Uh, some guys from a hiking group invited me to climb with them next weekend. I said, yes. Then I started researching it and uh, I think I can free solo it. So I'm gonna go try. I got a rope and my harness to repel. If it gets too hard or too sketchy, then I just won't do it. All right, so we just walked by what I call T-Rex rock. Looks just like a T-Rex head with an eye. And now uh, that means we're at the saddle. So we're done climbing for a little bit at least. Give you the view. Hey. There we go. There's the needle. So I have to descend, I don't know, probably about a mile. And then at some point when I'm right on the left of it, I start going up a steep slope. So, uh, so far, so good. But uh, I'm excited about attempting this. So the sun's there, but we've descended from the saddle. We're getting closer here. Still got probably a quarter to a third of a mile to walk on this trail before we cut up. All right, so there's a couple ways you can keep going and cut up, but there's also apparently a trail right here that's gonna take us to then. This going up this slope is gonna suck. The rock might be the easier part, but uh, we have a real steep, we gotta cross this drainage first, but then we gotta go up this super steep slope, which is probably overgrown and uh, we'll see. Well, we're making decent progress up this slope. You can see we've come probably a good 300 feet up above that drainage. There's a major side drainage. There is a slight use path and there are some cairns, but if you're not, you can see here, cairn, cairn. So it's not too bad, but if you're not used to this type of sort of use trail hiking, it might be a little hard to pick up in some places, but so far I have not had an issue. But with a heavy pack, it is not easy going up you know, 2,000 feet a mile or 1,500 feet a mile, whatever this is, at least 1,500. Very steep. So we're getting up there. This terrain is incredibly steep and challenging. And I'm actually not sure if I'm in the right place or not. We're getting close. I think we need to bend around here to the left. I just, uh, I lost Cairns or any semblance of a trail. But I'm fairly sure we gotta go around this way. All right, so we've wrapped around the corner. And I think we're all on rock now. We're gonna get funneled into this eventual chimney, which is where the climbing begins. So far, this is just gonna be sort of class three-ish terrain. This is gonna be easy enough to step up. Um, but we're gonna just follow this sort of side during the jump. I probably should have gone right. But this'll work. Got up that first ledge system, and now there's only one way to go. It's gotta be up this crack, presumably. Um, yeah. So we're gonna get funneled into here. And that's our ticket up. I mean, even right here is like a tough, luckily a lot of this rock is pretty good. So I wanna make sure my foot doesn't slip. I could just show you the entire way to the summit, I suppose. But I might run out of battery. How is there a cactus spine in the rock? That really hurt. <sighs> yeah, it looks like there's our chimney with the chalk stone right up there. That's gonna be our main 
So it's gonna be easy enough to get up to that chimney. I'm gonna get there and take a break and reassess. This is quite the climb to get up this far. Right, I'm gonna get up there and then I'll show you when I get in the chimney. All right, so it's starting to narrow up to this chimney. When we get up to that chalk stone, we go under it is the easiest way. And then we'll bang a left. So, so far, nothing bad. Just some steep class three terrain. But we're about to uh, probably get more challenging here. I don't think it'll be too bad. Need to make sure I have holds. Should have just gone up this crack. Oh, well. There's all sorts of prickly things in the rock. So this is sort of class 4 but uh, not too bad. Okay, this is probably the start of the chimney proper here. So, it's just a little narrow. Need to like wedge, wedge my body up in here. All right, I gotta step. <laughs> All right, I'm up that part. There's a feather in here. The rock does have good grippy holds. All right, that was the first, what seemed like a tough part there. It's heavy pack, it's not help. That's for damn sure. But it seems easier up here than it was that first, that first move. This looks like a potential tough ledge to get up. See, I almost want to go. I think I want to go over here to get up. Yeah, let's step up over here. Much better steps. Uh, yeah, much easier. That was that would have been a hard little section right there. All right. Up here. Traverse on this ledge. See, I should be able to rappel down all this then, I think. Although I would say it is down climbable. This might get a lot harder though, up to the stone. So I'm gonna go in and then cut left, I think. Yeah. Yeah, let's get over. Let's get to here and then cut over left. Let me drop, drop one step, maybe one more step. And then step up here. This looks like probably the hardest part to me. At least for some. Just need a good, uh, just 
Just need a good like ledge hold. holds good foothold don't really have a good foothold yet and the next one I think I'll get there is this a good hold? oh yeah that's not a bad hold That was definitely the most challenging part. <sighs> I think I'm in better shape now. <laughs> that was a little difficult. <laughs> Still not, it's not trivial to step up here. I wanna make sure none of the stuff breaks off, you know what I mean? Cause that would not be ideal. At all. Look, that looks a little loose to me. Especially if I'm gonna be putting a lot of my weight on it. Yeah. We're up to this. gonna crawl through here once we get up here it's not trivial to get up some of these sections make sure this rock doesn't move <sighs> almost up through here it's like overhanging, so it's not like. Plus, my pack is like getting stuck. It is getting stuck. <sighs> All right. Below the choke stone. Can I get through here? Not, not easily. <laughs> I'll just check in when I'm out of here. Wow, look at this view at the notch. So I think if you come up the other side, which isn't as tough, you get up right here. So I think we're done the hardest part, I think. Knock on wood, but look at that looking out. That might be Miner's Needle or Miner's Summit right there, which I've been close to the top of. And Herman's Cave is way out there somewhere. So awesome little window view here. I think we need to get up this little 12 foot wall, they call it. We have a little, Little class five section here, but worst case, I'm falling and not getting hurt, I think. Like I said, it's just, it's hard with the pack. That's the hard part. And these are good holds. As people refer to them as bomber holds. That was a bomber hold. Okay. We're up the 12 foot wall. Now I think it's class two, three for a while. So we're just uh, following a steep, almost trail, gully up now. 
shouldn't have any problem here. I was hoping there'd be someone here. I wonder if there's anyone camping up top. Ah. That was a little tough climbing up in a couple parts. That was about the extent of what I'd be comfortable with. I would say that that chimney was comparable to a couple of the sections on the Grand Teton. Similar to the Owen chimney, I would say. So, working our way up easy, class three, until we get to the final head wall. It's obvious, I think you gotta just follow the easy way up. Yes, yeah, so we'll cut here, cut right, climb up above this tree. There's nowhere else to go. Or else you just get run off the side, I think. Some of these <laughs> ledges are very <clears throat> push you out. I put my glasses away. Yeah, see, so we just keep cutting up the way that seems easiest and obvious. So no issues. No issues so far from the notch. Question is, do we go through there? Or do we go up high? Or does it even matter? I'm gonna go over here, but I'm gonna say it doesn't matter. Yeah, this looks sort of like a trail. Yeah, I think I chose, I chose wisely. Prickly pear. Can't go off here, you get run off a ledge. I think you're seeing the head wall up there. More prickly pear, they're hidden. They're hidden in the cracks, so watch out. <sighs> could go up there and go across, or we could just step up right here, I think. Should be easy enough. Not the best. I want to see someone else up there so I don't feel like I'm alone. Uh. <sighs> All right. this right at this little drainage here <sighs> little ledge system could just walk around here make it a little easier on myself or maybe not maybe that makes it harder on myself actually probably There we go. All right. Probably gonna take a break to assess this head wall. He said there was a yeah yeah this is a path you come up to a ledge on the west side which i believe is 
right out here in the sun. Yeah. I think this is the little west ledge. And now we climb up. Yeah, we go up right and sort of follow that crack up. We can't climb up this vertical surface. Oh boy. Fremont Saddle way down there. I'm gonna take a little breather and then I'll show you the last push. All right, let's get into this last class five section. So, the first part looks easy. Easy enough, except for this prickly plant. I said it was only 5-1, but with exposure, I'm pretty sure what I was climbing near the chokestone was like 5-4 or something. So, I mean, I wouldn't call that class five, I'd call that four. And I would call this three right now. I think we wanna go up to the right of this crack, but I'm not completely sure. I should have rewatched the video. I, w I watched some guy's video where they showed his climbing end from above. And I'm pretty sure he went up right here on the right of this crack, but I'm not totally sure. We might go around. And so I don't know the best way to, uh, I think if I go up, I can always cut across. So I'm just gonna go up, this looks, hopefully that's not loose. It's not. This might be the exposed section right here. I don't know. It's not bad. I'm holding on well with my hands. Sort of a ledge traverse. I don't know. These are great. These are bomber holds. Assuming they don't break loose. Um, I mean, why don't I just get in this gully? What's wrong with that? You ask. The answer is I don't know. Maybe it's easier to step over on the right of the gully. Not sure. Not be in the crack. We're just gonna go up this thing. Now there's like crap, animal crap all over the place. It smells. Okay, this is very easy. Say 5-1 is might be generous, it might only be class four. Oh boy. I think that last section was easy. I just need to find the wrap station, but that that is down climbable for sure. I'm not sure where the wrap station is though. I think we're cruising the summit. Is anyone else up there? <sighs> dun, dun, dun. <sighs> yeah, I might have to down climb that section if I can't find the anchor. Summit, Summit, where are you? This is it. We're on the summit. We're on the summit of Weaver's Needle, baby. Woo! And we have it to ourselves. Where is everyone? High point's gotta be that rock right there. Oh man. Look at the ridge line. Look out the canyon lake. 
Oh, there's someone there. Look at out east, LaBarge Canyon. Oh man, epic. Epic little free solo. It wasn't too bad, although some of those sections going up near the chokestone were a little tough. So this is awesome. Weaver's Needle Summit. Let's hope I can get down safely, but I, I can down climb that, that section if I can't find the anchor, but I am gonna need to rappel down the, uh, the chalkstone chimney section. So Weaver's Needle, free solo. I'll show you the rappels down, but awesome. Unbelievable views from up here, unbelievable. I'm headed over to the north end of the summit to show you this view if it is any different. For reference, that took about two hours, like just over two hours to get out from the Peralta Trailhead. Um, I was a little careful. Probably if I did it again, it'd be quicker. But uh, yeah, here's going to be probably a decent drop off off the end. Yeah, so cool. So, actually, I'm an idiot. Battleship's way out. That is Blacktop Mesa. So the big yellow thing that has black on top, that's Blacktop Mesa. And then beyond that yellow thing sticking up is Battleship. I don't know why I was looking at that. Battleship's out there. You can see Canyon Lake out there in the distance. Um, but unbelievable views. Well, I opened up the registry. I signed it. I don't know if you can read it. I wrote my name, the date, at Hiking Engineer on YouTube. And there's a bottle of uh, Jack Daniels honey in here, too. I did not take a sip, however. This would be an awesome place to camp up here. Unbelievable. So, gonna hightail it down and uh, I will uh, check in on the rappel. Well, I didn't find the anchor <laughs> for this first part, but luckily it's a uh, very easy class five, bordering on class four <laughs> with bomber holds. So uh, I am just easily stepping down with my holds immaculate. <sighs> But we will not be able to do that for uh, the next one. Luckily, I found the uh, I found the anchor, so we just got to get down this next little section. I think it was easy though. I remember it being easy climbing up. <sighs> yeah, nice and easy. <sighs> Make sure we have a handhold. Nice and easy. Ah. We just have that 12 foot. Well, we have some easy, easy steep terrain here. Ah. Awesome. There's the south, the south summit of the needle right in front of us. All right. Well, that took forever to get the rope all untangled. So not ideal. Yeah, let's try over here. I haven't repelled in a long time. It's still free hanging. Which is fine. All right, now I'm safe. Just haven't done this in a while. Don't follow my lead, folks. <laughs> Thank you. 
Here's the problem. So this rope is jammed up. Which is somewhat of a problem. Kids, this is not how to do it at home. Probably just get to there and then uh, climb down the rest of the way. This is the hard part up at the top. Otherwise, I don't know. Should we just try to throw it down? See if it gets down there. I mean, the rope doesn't have much left. See, it just untangles itself as you go down. Get down this little part, which I came up on the left there. Alright. We're almost at the end of the rope. At the end of the rope. Do, 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 do. Mm, 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 mm. Boys to men. See, normally this isn't good to have it like rubbing against rocks either. It'll be a miracle if I get this rope back. I don't know. I might be stuck. No, I'm not stuck getting down. I just don't know how to get the rope down. Well, success. We uh, gave it a little a couple whiplashes. Finally got one end to pull. Um, pulled it all down. Brought some rocks down with it. Luckily, did not get hit by any shrapnel and uh, now I just have to pack up this rope and then uh, it should be pretty smooth sailing down all right the rope is packed up ah this is so I hate doing stuff like I mean I love doing stuff like this but and I just don't know what I'm doing with the rope. I don't know how to wrap it up, fold it up, keep it from getting in knots. Like it's just, it's so time consuming and it's so much weight. It sucks. Um, so anyway, we're almost, we have this one little section, I believe, um, right here to get off the rock. That's like class three, but I'll just slide down and then uh, it'll just be very steep class two the rest of the way down. So, uh, yeah, I think we came over here. Yeah. I'm surprised. Weekend, holiday weekend, no one else is on Weaver's Needle. That's crazy. No one had signed it the last three days unless I didn't check the other boxes. But, uh, yeah, this was our first uh, sort of class three section. And this isn't trivial to get off, actually. Cause this rock is like super smooth. <laughs> Trying to hold on for dear life cause it's smooth. There we go. Thought I was gonna go for a slide. Ah, <laughs> okay. We're, uh, we're on dirt the rest of the way. Well, whoever, I think it was on Hike Arizona, said the most treacherous part of the entire thing is coming down this slope at the end. And I tend to agree with that. Um, 
I am slipping like every other step. It's all loose dirt and rock. <laughs> These shoes. I mean, I'm also wearing shoes with no traction. Probably wasn't the best decision for today, but it's okay. So anyway, this is incredibly annoying to walk down, but we'll make it. We are, uh, you know, more than halfway down from the summit at least. Probably not from the chokestone. Um, well, we lost the trail a couple times coming down, but managed to find it again. Came down a different way than the way we shortcut. We've come all the way down from the needle. Um, we're now to the wash and the trail's right above us. Um, not too far, I don't think. Um, maybe like 20 feet above us or 30 feet above us. Ah, <sighs> we're back at the saddle. Bye, Weaver's Needle. Now we got two and a half miles down. I'll <laughs> Nothing like jogging with a 30 pound pack on your back. Oh, that's it. That is Weaver's Needle. If I knew how to use a rope and not have it get all tangled and twisted and knotted, I would do that all the time. But I feel like the majority of my time was spent figuring out the rope and getting the rope unknotted, so. Ah. <sighs> 